Parking in Grand Haven in the summer can be hard to find, and now that parking could also cost you on some city streets. 13 on your side's armor boss shows us the proposed change that has some locals and business owners a little bit worried. It's always a concern and always a point of discussion. It's a common complaint in the Coast Guard City. Parking, um, you know, lack of it, you know, hard to find somewhere to park and uh, uh, you're not sure you're going to find a parking spot when you come here. City Manager Pat McGinnis says the parking problem has driven business away. We're not seeing the level of private investment that you would expect to see. Why not parking? How do you solve it? Well, capital can also solve that. So one possibility is to charge for parking. The idea being discussed is to move to a paid parking model for all of downtown Grand Haven and the waterfront between May and September. The fee would be one to two dollars per hour. Um, it will kill our local businesses downtown. Rick Grassman has been working in Grand Haven for the past three years. You don't want the people who stop in and want to drop in and run to the coffee shop, run to Fortino's, any of those things, grab something. They're going to pay two bucks to run in and get a $2 cup of coffee. It's not going to happen. City leaders say a parking app would allow customers to not be charged if they park less than 15 minutes. Business owner Sharon Beam says she is willing to explore the idea. I really do believe as we move forward with the cost of things going up, more and more communities are going to charge for parking. No final decisions have been made and public hearings would have to be held in order to advance. If the move to paid parking does take place, it's unlikely to happen this year.